So at the moment, there are around 15,000 uh, Americans uh, doing study abroad programs in China every year. And through our program, we're seeing around 500 or so every year uh, are doing internships in, uh, on our program, which is in Beijing, Shanghai, Shenzhen, and Hong Kong. And why do you think it's important that these US students go to China of all places? Well, first of all, I think it's important to redress the balance. Um, at the moment, there are around 275,000 Chinese students per year uh, coming to the U.S. to, to study abroad, um, and uh, obviously a, a much lower number of U.S. students. And as China, the U.S.-China relationship is getting so important, uh, we think it's really, really valuable for students to get some sort of work experience in China, whether they want to forge a career in China themselves or whether they want to stand out um, from their peers when they, they go to interview in companies back in the U.S. Alan. The, the students that go to China, do you have any statistics on how many wind up staying there after going to universities there and uh, really making a career in China? Yeah, sure. So around 30% of our students get offered positions with the companies that they've done the internship with. Um, not all of those can actually stay, of course. Some are coming back to, to graduate um, or still have their studies to do. Um, and we've been really excited to see uh, that 89% of the students who have done our program do find a, a job uh, within three months of graduation, whether that's with China, and we found some great success stories of students uh, still working with China, or their chances are boosted in getting a job back in the U.S. if not. Daniel, what, what, what's the next big step for this business? Because um, there are those who would look at it and say, um, you know what, we've got a whole digital revolution going on here. Why do <clears throat> these Americans need to physically fly to China? Is there not a way that we could, through digital technology, just make them part of a China experience? I think that's a really exciting concept, and we have looked into the, the idea of virtual internships. Uh, we feel with China, though, you really need to be there on the ground. You need to breathe it. You need to smell it. You need to talk to people on the ground, build those real relationships in person. Of course, uh, Guanxi connections is so important in China, and I think that really only happens when you're on the ground meeting people face to face and really getting immersed in the, the local business culture, which is, which is pretty different from what we're used to back in the West, to be quite honest.